Hello folks, this is uh, 2022 May June paper 2-1 and the question number is 2. This question is concerned with the chapter uh, forces um, because it is about uh, torque and moment and everything else. So it says, uh, first state what is mean by the center of gravity of an object. So it is the uh, point of, an, of a body. Uh, where the whole weight of the body uh, seems to act so we don't we uh, won't go through it in jail so we go directly to the problem so it says a non-uniform rod xy xy is pivoted at point p point p as is shown in figure 2.1 the rod has length 4.2 meters whole length 4 meters and weight uh, 44 newton weight for newton so since it is non not uniform the weight is not acting at the center the weight is acting slightly to this side so you can notice the center of gravity of the rod is 1.70 it says 70 meter from the in the x of the rod so from this end it is 1.70 and here it is uh, the hole is 4 so this should be equal to something 4 minus 1.7 a uh, sphere hangs by the wire from end a y of the rod sphere hangs here the weight of the rod sphere is uh, 3.0 newton 3.0 the weight of the wire is negligible so negligible a force f is applied vertically downward at in x so that the original rod is in equilibrium so it means that it doesn't move like this or like this by taking moments about p about p calculate f so we have to find f by calculating moments about p so here what we have to do is uh this distance is okay uh, distance of the point of application of f from p is okay but we don't have this distance so we can just do like this so this distance should be equal to this minus this so it is 0 0.60 meters similarly from here to here here to here the distance is from here to here the distance is 4 minus 1.1 so it should be 2.90 meters so with the, this preparation now i can go through this thing so what we have is uh since the system is equilibrium the anti-clockwise moment should be equal to the clockwise moment so the anti-clockwise moment is given by f so f into f into 1.10 1.10 equal to clockwise is given by 44.0 into the distance is uh, 0 0.60 plus next is this 3.0 into this distance is 2.90 2.90 so now we will have uh, this is equal to uh, so f should be equal 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 to f should be equal to 44.0 into 0 0.60 plus 3.0 into 2.90 divided 1.10 so 44 into 0 0.6 plus bracket 3 into 2.9 that goes divided 1.1 so it becomes equal to 31.90 90 like that so it, I just write 31.9 newtons so it is 31.9 newtons so this force is equal to 31.9 newtons now calculate the force exerted on the rod by the pivot so this is the rod so we have to find this force this force now, since the for the whole system is in equilibrium, we must have total upward force equal to total downward force. Total upward equal to like this. So that's why this F upward should be equal to numerically equal to uh, 31.9 plus 44.0 plus 3.0. So when I add all those things, it becomes equal to 31.9 plus 44.0 plus 3.0 equal to you got a 78.9 newtons so it is 78.9 newtons now 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 yes the sphere is now immersed in a liquid in a container so this thing this thing has been immersed in the liquid like this in a container uh the density of the liquid is 1100 kg per meter cube so it is rho is equal to 1100 kg per meter cube uh, the after acting on the sphere due to the liquid is uh, 2.5 newton so it is f u is equal to 2.5 newton the magnitude of f is unchanged so this f remains unchanged so that the 
uh, Ornel rod is not in equilibrium. So now it will not be in equilibrium because we have got some Optus factor here. Use Archimedes principle to determine the radius R of the sphere. So we need first to find this radius. So it is given by this thing. So force Optus is equal to is equal to uh, mass of water displaced into Z equal to volume of water displaced into rho of water into Z equal to liquid sorry liquid and this volume of liquid is equal to equal to volume of the sphere itself because it is fully immersed here fully immersed means that its volume is equal to the weight of the weight the the volume of this liquid displaced so volume of solid rho w z equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho of water is rho w into z so i must have r is equal to 3 f u divided divided uh, 4 pi rho w g which means this is r cube r is equal to 3 f u by 4 pi rho w g power 1 by 3 that's equal to so we have to put here all the values so when i do that 3 is 3 3 into f u is 2.5 newton 2.5 4 pi into 1100 into 9.81 so power 1 by 3 so when i do the calculations it is 3 into 2.5 divided bracket 4 into shift pi into 1100 into 1 very close equal to power bracket 1 divided 3 equal. so it becomes equal to 0 0.0381 meters so 0 0.0381 meters now calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant moment of the forces so since we have after force here it goes like this like this so there is some moment so we need to find the resultant moment so resultant moment is equal to equal to this moment minus this moment it is going upward is going upward so this one is weaker that's why this is stronger so this minus this so this moment will be equal to the value of EF is uh, moment resultant. Resultant moment is equal to RS is equal to uh, this is EF and this EF value is uh, 31.9. So it is 31.9 into into the distance was uh, distance was so this distance was 1.1 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1 minus minus this. 44.0 into 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 this distance was 0 0.60 0 0.60 minus the next force here is so the force here was force here was 3 newton 3 newton and upthrust was 2.5 so remaining force is remaining force is so 3.0 minus 2.5 that's 0 0.5 into into so I'll do like this uh, into the distance this distance is equal to from here to here the distance was 2.90 into 2.90 so like this like this so equal to equal to our rigorous calculation so 31.9 into 1.1 minus very close uh, uh, 44.0 into 0 .0 equal to minus bracket it is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 into 2.90. So this gives me 7.24. So 24 Newton meters. So it is 7.24 Newton meters. And this moment is, so this one is intact, this one decreased. This intact, this decreased. So that's why this moment is stronger or uh, it is uh, more dominant. So it should be anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. So it should be, should be, should be anti-clockwise. So this is the answer to this question.